learning how to code is a very important skill to have, especially the day, these days, but it's not being readily taught, especially to kids who may need it the most as they are starting to think about their careers. But Layton based Pluralsight is aiming to change that, offering two new free courses, teaching kids programming and learning how to program with Scratch. Aaron Sconard is the CEO and co-founder of Pluralsight and is here to tell us a little bit more. This is a great project, a great opportunity, especially here in Utah, to really connect and help kids learn really what is the language spoken all over the world. That's right, yeah, we just released these two new courses that kids anywhere from age eight on up can, can take on our website, completely free. Um, we're also getting ready to, to do some workshops in schools throughout the state um, to really hopefully inspire kids how to get started with, with such an important part of our future. It seems like we're playing, trying to play catch up a little bit because we should be already implementing these types of classes uh, at schools across the board. Yeah, we really believe that knowing how to control technology, knowing how to code, is as fundamental of a skill today as math and, and reading and, and, and other parts of science. And really schools aren't paying attention to it. And we're finding that our kids are kind of falling behind a little bit nationwide. We hope that this will help inspire some teachers, parents at home, and, and hopefully change some of that. And you often hear kids or parents talking about, okay, are you going to take Spanish or French this fall in your new class? And maybe we need to be changing that question, are you going to be learning coding C this year? Yeah, right. Java, you know, C++, all these other languages that you can use to, to actually control the tablet, to control the phone, you know, which our kids live on day in and day out. And that's the question some paper, parents might also ask is, how often were they using the language that they learned in high school? Probably not a lot for most of them, but if this is a skill or a language that if they're learning the, the basic principles could turn into a career that could pay dividends for life. Yeah, I mean, I really think just getting exposed to it is, is a huge hurdle. And once people know, I mean, my dad taught me how to program. He wasn't a programmer. He bought one of the first Apple II computers when I was about 10 years old figured out how to teach me to write my first little program and that stuck with me when I got to college I said I want to I want to go back and do that and now I'm doing that with my my boys who are age 14 and 10 and and I'm seeing that same thing happen there and again in case you missed this uh, earlier in the interview here uh, these are free classes that you're offering you can just go to the website pluralsight.com and you're also going to be hitting at several different schools with a workshop yeah hopefully um, the first week of May we're gonna line up about a half a dozen different elementary and high schools here in the state who would like to have us come in and do a custom workshop we'll bring in our team show them how to do it and that's something they can keep doing on their own and there's so much information out there once you get on this path of learning how to code and becoming a programmer and all of those uh, intricacies that really is just kind of opening up this opportunity for it's, them. It's really endless. I mean, you can keep going forever and ever. So, well, Aaron, we appreciate, we appreciate you stopping by. Great information. Again, pluralsite.com is where you go for those free classes and for more information. Thanks again. Thank you, Scott. Well, 40 years ago,